Oh, never mind. No, you're leaving. My brother could be dying. You can call when we get around the block. I'm not leaving him. Think about it, okay? We're underage. We're gonna dive. Okay, if the cops show up, we'll get arrested, which will ruin my chances of going to college. If you're that scared, then get out. I'm calling. All right, one sec. Okay, just... Hey, Michael. Are you all right? Nobody hits me! You got that? Nobody ever hits me! You're really crazy. Come on, show me what you got, man. Come on. This guy's seriously mental. Tell my sister you're a punk. Say it. Get out of here. I'm not going anywhere with you. I miss you. I miss you too. And I'm sorry. I have been. I've been swamped. So I haven't had a chance to thank you for being there when Michael woke up. I'm really sorry about that. And I, I really appreciate how much you've been there for him. I do. Yeah. Well, how has he been now that he's been home? It's been a little rocky. But he's going to be okay. Michael's going to be great. Look at you standing there trying to be cool. You don't have to stay here and take care of your psycho brother. Let's go to Chandler's. Bring us to see you tonight. I'm not leaving, Michael. Get out of here. Watch your back, though. Come on. Okay. Last chance. Start thinking of ways to make it up to me. Are you okay? That is the most fun I've had in more than a year. Am I good? Or am I great? Does your head hurt? What are you doing? She fell pretty hard. We should probably run by the hospital and get you checked out. They'll call mom and she'll freak. Michael, you just had brain surgery and you hit My mom head. barely let me take a cab to my physical therapy today. If she finds out about this, she's gonna glue herself to me forever. So we'll make up a lie on the way to the hospital. You need to see a doctor. Don't worry about it. Okay. But don't pass out or anything. Wait a minute, how'd you end up here anyway? Did you actually go to physical therapy? Yes. And the cab got lost on your way home? Well, the cab took a shortcut and we passed by Jake's, so I asked him to stop. Total impulse. What about you? I go to clubs all the time. Even this dive. Just another thing I miss. I'll help you get caught up, don't worry. Michael. Christina. What on earth are you both doing here? You know, I have to thank you for being such a good friend of Michael. Oh, I've neglected him the past couple weeks. So. No, no. I know he can depend on you. And I thank God, because you're the only one I think he'll listen to. Well, I'm going to try and be around more often. Busy, huh? I can't imagine what it's like to work for Kate Howard. I've oh, gone to my head. Well, she's in France now, but yes, with everything else, my dad is taken off again, and Lucky hates our new brother, and Spinelli's doing this P.I. thing minute. where he's... Lucky hates your new brother. Who are you talking about? Okay, do you know the um, bartender at the Haunted Star? I haven't been bar hopping lately. Okay, no. okay his name is... Ethan Lovett and my dad and Holly Sutton gave me a new half brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! How did he find his way here? I. It's a long story, but my dad and Holly hooked up a long time ago. You know what? Anyway, Lucky is not handling it well, and he's blaming Ethan for my dad's mistake. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about you? Are you and Johnny, you guys are still broken up, right? Yeah. And I was furious with Maxie. I completely blamed her. I put um, duct tape down the center of our apartment with my stuff on one side and her that. stuff on the other. That's something I would do. <laughs> I know. I knew you would be proud of me. But, you know, the reality is uh, our breakup wasn't about Maxie. When I had my breakdown, I think Johnny was falling more and more out of love with me and more like he wanted to take care of me you know like he was guilty about something who knows I he wanted out and I thought he was gonna go to Maxie but hey he didn't so <laughs> you sound okay with this well yeah better than I expected are you sure are you sure you're not just covering how hurt you are why well I um I have to tell you this but um Johnny's seeing someone else. 
Oh. Yeah, I know. Olivia Falconeri. <laughs> you are supposed to be tutoring at a teen center. Please explain to me why you are sitting at a bar. It's okay, Mom. No, it's not okay. I could have had this place shut down for letting both of you through the door. Did anyone serve you a drink? No, just water. No, of course not. Mom, please don't make this more difficult for Michael than it already is. Michael had a difficult day, and I almost had him talked into going home. That's true. There is no excuse for either of you sitting at this bar. I didn't want to go home after physical therapy. I took a cab here, had him drop me off. I was having so much fun that I called Christina and asked her to come meet me. I got into a cab and came straight over here to try to talk some sense into him. We were just going to play a game of pool and go home. Michael, do you have any concept of how dangerous it is for you to be here? I didn't think it through. Dr. Drake said that impulse control might be an issue. All right, well, I'm sorry for everything that you've had to go through. I really am. I feel terrible that you have to deal with what you're dealing with right now. But this shows very bad judgment on your part. Mom, nothing happened. Everything's under control. Everything is out of control when two people underage are sitting in a bar. Michael really needs our support right now. And I miss him so much. I appreciate how much you love your brother, and I appreciate what you're going through. But his parents need to deal with Michael right now. That is their job, not yours. You know, when Johnny found out about Michael's shooting... Hello? Hi, Carly. It's Alexis. I thought you might be worried and want to know where your son is. He's at Jake's. With my daughter. Michael, what happened? I thought you were in physical therapy. Michael was at Jake's. He called Christina and asked if she'd meet him there. Is that true? Why did you go to Jake's? Carly, I appreciate that Michael is going through a very difficult time right now. But he did admit to having poor impulse control. So until that resolves itself, I'm going to have to ask that he visit Christina under supervised visitation. I'd like to talk to Michael about it. I understand. In the meantime, Christina and I are going to have a talk about rights and responsibilities. Let's go. What happened? Did you go to physical therapy? How did you end up at Jake's? I worked really hard in physical therapy today, so I wanted to have a little fun, so I went to Jake's. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I'd do it again. I trusted you to go to physical therapy and come home, and instead you went to Jake's. Do you see why that's a problem? You're such a hypocrite. You love Jake's. I'm an adult, Michael. So am I. I grew up when you dropped me at the Institute. You're 17 and I didn't drop you anywhere. I wanted to bring you home and I visited you almost every day. More than anyone else. Then why can't I remember your voice? What happened to your face? I bummed it at PT. No, you didn't. Are you calling me a liar? I used to be a physical therapist. And I'm a better liar than you are. You got in a fight, didn't you? Come on, you Leave me alone! You are going to the hospital. The hell I am! Walk from... Get up! Bitch! Get up! 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 Get up!